just got like butterflies and stars and <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> You guys want more Mixlings? We got tons more here, at least Moose has. They put out is the Magic Mixies Mixlings Potions truck. So it looks like you can go ahead and make your potions on the road. And it comes with an exclusive figure. Let's take a look. So first of all, you can see it's the Magic Mixies Mixlings and it's the Crystal Woods series. And it says it's the Magic Potions truck. And you can see right on the truck, it says Potion Shop. And it says you mix up the potions to create surprises. And in the picture here, it opens to the Potion Shop. So that's cool. You can really open it up once you stop and you can go ahead and, you know, create a show. And then you can see right here, it comes with an exclusive mixling. And this mixling looks really awesome. It kind of reminded me when we did our first one on the two for one in the cauldron in the Crystal Wood series here, that it showed you the different ones you can collect. And this is the exclusive. And it looks like the ultra rare, at least the colors do. So if you don't get the ultra rare, this still looks really cool here. At least it does for me. And then on the back, it says, Journey through the Crystal Woods in the Mixlings Magic Potion Truck. Transform the truck into a potion shop and start mixing in the Fizzing Cauldron. Magically create surprises for your Mixling with three spells to cast. Only three, man. Okay, so first you mix. Step one. Step two, make your potion. Step three, create your surprise. And it shows you the, it includes an exclusive Mixling. And this Mixling looks awesome. And then down below, it says you want to open up shop, play with it, and then drive away. Specifically, you're going to get one vehicle play set, one figurine, eight accessories, one potion, ingredient pack, which is the White Fizz single use, three color change powders single use, and one collector's guide and one instruction manual. Additional Mixling characters uh, sold separately. So, you know, whatever you see in the back besides the exclusive figure, then that's, you gotta buy it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here, here, here. Well, that folds out. Okay. There's a truck. Oh, zip tie Monsterville, man. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be easy unboxing for such a cute little innocent potion shop truck. We gotta do some man thing now. We do man things, you know, to get our babies their mixy potion truck. Oh, snap, snap. Don't talk back. There we go. Oh, I gotta cut. I'll just cut this side too. Okay. Is that gonna come off easy? Oh yeah, okay, so it's, you know, I wanna pull out this at the bottom. Ooh, man, look at that. It rolly, rolly, rollies. And it's purple wheels. That's cool. Look at that gem top. That's awesome. And then you got the potion shop here, man. And you can see, um, it's kind of shadowy there, but she's in there making her potion stuff. And we still have rope around here. Let me get the rope off here, or the tie. Uh, there we go. I think that comes out. Well, maybe we should open it up. Or before we do that, before we open up shop, look, it's already cracking. Ooh. It's an early reveal. And look, we got our uh, cauldron here to mix up our potions, right? The cauldron looks pretty sweet. I'm just gotta cut around it. Tape maybe here. And it's got a little jam up there. Nice. Solid plastic. Now we gotta get out our one-time uses of potions and fizzes and things. Oh my. They're really strapped in. Oh, I don't wanna cut her. Um, oh, well, you know what? I forgot. Swiss Army knife has scissors. Little bitty scissors. Look at her, man. She looks solid and cool. You guys like the front? I think the front is awesome. That could be an ultra rare. And look at the back. God, gray squirrel, gray squirrel, red bushy, bushy tail. That's really popping. That looks cool, man. I just go up to her and say, man, make me a potion because you're so cool. I want to be like you. Turn me into like one of these creatures. Nah, <laughs> I like my adventure fun unboxing here. Don't want to make potions, but I like to see other people see what they can do with it. There's one potion bottle, it's got hearts in it. That's kind of cool, huh, interesting. Here's another potion bottle and this one's got like, is that butterflies? I think it's like silver like little butterfly things in there. Not sure. And then this other potion bottle has stars. Can you guys see that? There's a little star. Okay, so we're also looking for any sign of how to do this. It says it came with a collector's guide or something. Is it in here? It's probably in the truck. So we gotta open the, Ooh. and then let's pull this out. So there you go. Maybe you want to keep that just to put it in there so it looks like somebody's always available and driving around. But actually, well, she's got a hole at the bottom of her footsies and you can put her, and there's an extension right here. So you can put her right there so she could drive herself. <laughs> So look, we got this, and I don't know what's in here, but let's take a look at the uh, collector's guide, instruction map, and uh... okay, it's big, it's butamous, uh, front and the back. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this and see what we need to do. So one, we actually already did this. Oh, that's what it is. It's a button, this little gem on top. You see how this lever comes down when you push on it? So you just lock it into place, push it, and it fires open. That's cool, man. I want me a magic mix and mix and pick some potion truck. And I got one. Neener, neener. <laughs> no, I just having fun with you guys. But I think it's really awesome. It's just super exciting to do that, you know. It's like you come driving into town. <laughs> Poof. 
poof, and all of a sudden she appears. <laughs> oh no, that's not, that's the wrong, you know, she can't cackle, nobody would trust her, you know, she's gotta go, hey, I'm here to help you to create some beautiful potions. Something that fizzes and whizzes and twirls and uh, splizzes. Cool, that was nice to know. And then, so they have something, oh, they got little, are these little steps or something? Little crystal kind of things that go down. Are these like, you know, lights, reflector lights? So somebody comes on and sees them like, oh, stop, you know, you're gonna hit it. It doesn't really say, <laughs> but, but it looks cool. So you bend it down, uh, that's the vehicle open. And then when you want it closed, you're gonna have to lift these things up. So it closes in, I have to lift it, there you go. I guess this is just more support, maybe. Does it actually go all the way down? No, it doesn't. Otherwise, I was gonna say it supports this from like bending or breaking, but it doesn't. Anyways, I'm not quite sure what that's about. Um, it does have this. Oh, and look, it has a little uh, hole at the bottom so you can put your potions up here. That's awesome, woo! That's so cool, man. So, you know, if we do, can she still drive around with this? Cause this is like, She's coming to a town near you. She probably does bath bombs, bath fizzies, you know. I don't know. I'm just imagining what she could do here until we actually get through it. Okay, so that's the vehicle open, vehicle closed, everything else that we need to look at. Oh. Did you guys know, let me go ahead and open it up, that our Mixie Mixling, this part of her tail, it changes colors. You wanna see? Let's go ahead and check it out. I think for the color changing, we might need some cold water. And well, it says it's hot water. So here we go, guys. We got ice water, we got hot water. So there's her back side right here. And when we dip it in hot water, it goes from red to... Wow, bright yellow. She's got her booty, shake her booty, shake, 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 shake her booty, ooh. <laughs> And part of it's red part. That's so cool how it changes. Can I just like drizzle some hot water down here? Oh, look at that. You can create your own little like, ah, she's got the plague. <laughs> no, it just looks so cool. The different colors, you got yellow mixed with the red. That's awesome. And then you just have to wait till it, you know, cools down and then it'll change back to its red state. I love it. I think it's totally cool. And the cauldron here has a little, I noticed an indentation here and there's an extension right here. So it goes right there. That's cool. I don't know, which color do you guys like? I like them both. The red looks cool though too. All right, next. Oh, so now explains the potions here. So the potion, which <laughs> makes sense, you know, um, the one with the heart is love. You want somebody to fall in love with, ooh, you little puddin'. <laughs> you can go ahead and get them to fall in love with you and your magic mixing mixlings, you know? And then this one right here, and it makes sense because we saw the stars. So what's the phrase, catchphrase? Oh, my lucky stars. So there you go, there's your lucky stars. So you got lots of luck. And then the other one, oh boy, this one's kind of chicksy. It looks like it's taking off like a shooting star and it doesn't have anything else. It's got butterflies in here, so it calls this the flight potion. Maybe like Tinkerbell, you know? You got a little pixie dust in here to get flight, you know? You got to get out of here because once you like get somebody that you have enough luck to them to fall in love with you and then they chase you down then you're like oh i think i overdid it on the love they're following me everywhere <laughs> so, <laughs> so which one should we do first the flight potion here so it says you take the stopper off is it a twisty or is it um, I kind of twist and pulled all these like little uh butterflies in there i don't know if you can see it but i want to keep it in there and then, uh, okay, so once that's off, apparently you're supposed to fill up the cauldron with water. So you got some water in here. I know guys, it's a Scooby-Doo thing, but hey, you know, it works. It actually will pour water if I don't dump it all over the side. Okay, yeah, it does, it matches. And we planned it that way, <laughs> all right. <laughs> We're supposed to have like a pipette or something in. Oh, here we go. We got more stuff, guys. Oh my goodness. So there's our Pied Piper pipette right here, okay? Squeeze it. Nice and refreshing. You can whap. I cast a love spell on you. Love, love, like, like, and subscribe. And you're supposed to squeeze this and put it in there. But I want you to take a look at before we do that, all these others right here. So this is like the star potion, right? And here's the love powder. And then the bubbles for a bubble bath? I don't know. But then there's the flight potion here. So you're supposed to put the water in there. After you put the water in there, make sure it's level. What does that mean? So it's gotta be to a certain height. You gotta fill it all the way up to the line here. Here. It shows in the picture that you got to fill it right to that uh, transparent line. Not halfway, it's got to be all the way up to there. Okay. And then once you do that, then you can cut this and pour the powder in there. And the powder that we're going to be pouring into it is our flight. You guys make sure you get a good picture of that so you can see we have wings, we can fly. Okay, so before we create our potion here, I just want to catch you up to speed here, guys, that we got our mixling here. He's going to mixling her potion. And then you know, you can also put your pipette there, but we need to fill the water in here, the magic water she like casts a spell over. And her name is, because we got the collector's guide here. And if you want to watch, we got every single one of these over 40. Well, not the uh, limited edition yet, because that only comes in the collector's cauldron, the singles one, not the two packs, but we got the 
the two packs. We collected all of them. You guys want to watch that to find out just how cute they are. But for this one, as you can see right there, um, next to the limited edition, her name is Frickle. <laughs> Oh, that's a frickle of a pickle of a name to say. The other one that we want to, li to get, or I like to get, is the Magic Light Up Tree House. Oh, that's going to be so cool. The tree a Light Up Tree House. And it's Ziplet. So we're still looking for that. And we're looking for the single cauldrons, the collector cauldrons, to get the limited edition. Only 10,000, I believe, are made, at least in the past two series. There's only 10,000 um, for each one of the series. This one's Shima. -na 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 -na. Shima. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to take uh, step one. It's this, that we pour the powder into uh, Frickle's cauldron, her pot. And so we'll go ahead and cut that right there let's go ahead and oh it's fizzy look at that oh magical fizzies so without the fizzies guys you're gonna have no magic that's just the way it rolls so now that we have the fizzies in there the next step is uh, potion creation we can go ahead and take the pipette that was in its holster there and then squeeze and suck up the water and then fill it in here and it wants us to fill it right up to i think it's this line right here and we'll just fill it up a little bit more and I think that's pretty good. Okay, do you want to overdo the potion? We can have an explosion, you know. <laughs> okay. Actually, we need to take our flight packet here and put that and mix it in with the potion we got from the cauldron. And it's got butterflies in here because we want to fly. What's in there? I can't see, so we'll pour it in. Oops. Oh, it's changing color. It's changing blue. And then we're going to take this and put it on top. And it's kind of coming out. And they're supposed to shake it for 30 seconds. Really? Oh, it's not a good sealant, is it? Oh, it's even worse. Oh, it's coming out. Guys, I don't know. Well, let's pull it out here. Let's see what we got. Oh, it came out. What is it? It actually dissolved the piece of plastic up here. It's bound up here under some rubber and do the the necessary here i got to get this thing off but my hands are so slippery from the water so it looks like some sort of tiara or a crown or something so yeah it'll tell you at the end what you're supposed to do to your magic mixling okay there's step one Woo! it's a little bit messy but it looks super cool okay hopefully we have better luck with the next potion here okay so we got to repeat the process now next one we're going to do it for love and the stopper i hope it stops the juice from coming out this time oh it seems like it's solid there there's the bottom of the stopper it might be some dissolvy paper that you just shake but you don't want to know because then it loses its magic we got our love potion. We got to fill it up with water first. Pipe, pipe butter, pipette. And this time I don't think I'll fill it up all the way. <laughs> and then we got the love. Cut that and pour it in like this. What color do you think, guys? A pink. Yeah, it's got to be pink or red. So far I see no color change, or at least not yet. Did I do it wrong? Well, it's actually looking blue, kind of. Am I back to the blue? It looks a little bit pink, though. Yeah, it is. So we're making our potions. We're mixing, we're shaking, we're moving, we're grooving, we're making. Woo! It's coming out, I think. There it is. Oh, come on, baby. You see, it got this little rubber thing around it to kind of keep it together so it can like squish up in there or something like that. So I'm just going to take the scissors and cut that off. This is her, let me see if I can put it on, her shades. Cool, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she looks cool. Oh, we're on to the last magic potion here. So let's go ahead and pop the top and then fill it up. And the way it keeps popping out at me, I don't know if I dare fill it up all the way. So we're good there. And then let's go ahead and do our gold stars. So that one kind of looks a little bit pinkish. There wasn't like a lot of color in that one, it didn't seem like. So let's pour it in here. Yeah, I'm hoping it turns yellow. Yeah, it's turning yellow. Nice, a little bit of gold. God, there's a lot of powder in there too. If you just keep flicking it, tapping it, it keeps coming. And you know what? Maybe there's the crystals that changed the color that I didn't get out that was supposed to be in the powder. Where now it shows it more. Close it tight. Squeeze it really tight. No, oh, it's still. I'm just not a good potion maker. <laughs> oh, it's leaking everywhere. But hopefully there's not a hole at the bottom or something. Because every time I shake it, I keep getting soaked. And it's going everywhere. <laughs> keep shaking it, man. Look at it, it's just flying everywhere. What the heck? Where's it coming from? It's still dissolving. <laughs> but I'm losing all my water here. Where are you coming out at? Come out, come out. Oh, that's a little bit stubborn. It's like a little necklace or something. Yeah, kind of a little necklace. Either that or a dog collar for shock. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> yeah, that looks cool for the little mixling, the potion. You get a little like trinket to like, you know, the tiara, the glasses, yo, yo, yo. And then the uh, bling, that's cool thing. And then after that, oh, we just got like butterflies and stars and everything all over the place, man. It was a shaken bacon mess. <laughs> I don't know why the stoppers didn't work. Every time I shake it, it just, more kept coming out. I don't know if I just had to put a lot of pressure down. Coming it's still out. flying. I mean, what the heck? Okay, guys, what do you think? I loved it. I think it was super awesome to make the potions. In fact, before we close up shop here, uh, let's get her back in her driver's seat right here. And now that we have the potions made, we put them back in and look at the different colors. It actually brings a lot of colorful, rific uh, eye candy. Except this one probably be a little bit more pink, but I think because I didn't get all the powder out, there might've been some crystals in there that would've turned it more pink. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys had better success than I did, especially with the shaking going all over the place, you know. <laughs> Wear protection of glasses and then she's got her bling which is super cool look at that guys this is awesome what do you think let me know in the comments be sure to like and subscribe because we're going to have more magic mixies mixlings come up and as soon as we do you'll be notified if you're subscribed thanks for watching guys now to the fortnite challenge where i get to win in a magic mixies mixling skin and summer's coming to an end i'm very sad about it and so to end the summer just right before we lose the whole magic of the summer yeah let's go ahead and go a little bit of Luki lao hawaii for a win Hey everybody, that's Hooky Bow, where the mama is a cow cow at the Hooky Bow. Why would a mama be a cow cow? I don't know, I just remember that from grade school. We're gonna jump a three, two, jump. And we're going to the edge of the island here again. I mean, you can't have a luau without roasted pig, and we gotta have a campfire to roast the pig. <laughs> I know, I'm just great with the excuses. Oh, this is my favorite spot. And thought we'd deal. Come on, baby, surf and safari. I like shaking surfers with me. Beach Boys. I know I missed that. Um, but yeah, somebody else is landing here. It sounds like we're close by. Okay, havoc and some ammo. Oh God, there's quite a few people landing here. Looks like I'll have to hurry. Wow, it's like they're breathing down my neck. There you is. It's an army girl. I think it's a bot. Anyways, that's how we start off. And I think I got everything. Uh, grapple glove. And we'll buy something from the bush dude. And rearrange my loadout. We're good. I heard some shooting over here. I don't know if it's worth going for. I don't have much ammo. Oh, they're just standing there. Mm, must be a bot. Let's need him. One, two, three, strikes, you're out. Uh, didn't even come close. Ooh, somebody's behind me. Ooh, okay. Yeah, uh, they got the surprise. I'm just gonna swim my way out of here. And come over here and see if I can load up really quick with whatever's available. Slap it. Need some more. Oh, mini slap it. Let's go ahead and splash it out. Slap it out. Infrared. Um, he should have been here by now if he was chasing me. Otherwise, let me just go ahead and get see what's in the chest. Now there's the Hawaiian thing, you know. Hawaii Five-O. All I had was like red and blue colors. You know, that's a color, you know, cool and hot. In the middle of the summer, I really don't want the summer to go. It's been so nice. But alas, we must welcome in soon Fort Nightmares. That'll be fun. And a flapjack. Oopsie daisy. There we go. Pop a big pot, take a potty break. And take a flapjack, get some more ammo. You know what? I'm going to go with the drum shotgun. I, I just feel like it. The Havoc seems really powerful if you're a one shot person, a one hit wonder. Like, wow, he hit me with one hit. But me, it's going to take a couple of hits. And I may miss the first hit. So I don't want to sit and wait to reload. Anything here? On top of all smoky, I'll cover with cheese. I smoke more meatball when somebody sneezed. Shockwaves, yes. Oh, I think we got a demon the llama spawning. Demon llamas, we gotta save those for Fort Nightmares. That would've been cool. That's eh, all on fuego, fire. Leave me some juice. Oh, almost. There you go. Use the ammo, um, mythics, 
I know I gotta complete a challenge with them someday. <laughs> More shockwaves, sweet. Let's see what's up here. I love the pickaxe, the palm trees. There we go. Oh, Sony's here. Yeah, bye bye. No, I don't think you're gonna get me, but you got one of the tires. Good for you. Never give. Ooh. <laughs> Almost came a burnt offering. Oh, I'm not gonna roll this around. I'm just gonna keep going. Whee. Oh, took fall damage for that? Uh, I was kind of in the water. Softened it up. I think Fortnite messed that one up, but we'll hit one of these blue flowers. Yay. And she does blend well in a weird way with the jungle, or match it. Maybe not blend it. Well, depends on what flowers you're sitting next to. <laughs> this yellow flower blends with my flower in my hair. Let's see what we got up here in the chest. Um, okay, not much. Down here. First floor, haberdashery. Let's see if I can find any more shockwaves, anything. Uh, how about here? No. I need loot. Lots of loot. Oh, a key. Oh, there you go. Now you got and uh, uh, the summer has come to an end. Going to brutal cold weather, brutal bastion. Sebastian. Oh, man. That's all right. I'm like Aslan. I'll bring the uh, summer back to the wicked winter witch. Oh, look at that. Toes touching snow. But you got hot cocoa, so that's something to look forward to. And a mythic that I'll ignore. Um, yes, but I do want the mini slaps. Oh, well, somebody's coming back. That's a good thing about the snow, you can hear him. Oh. Okay, wasn't ready for that. Okay, <laughs> I need to warm up with my aim. It's just cold, not used to it. Whee! Escapade. Hawaii on ice. Hawaii on ice. Makes me want to get a snow cone right now. It's like, you look at her hair, it looks like the top looks like raspberry for a snow cone, and then your hair goes down, it looks like it's yellow, pineapple maybe. Ooh, four players left, okay. Now we're getting cereal. And we want a brutal bastion of all places, man. Well, let's make the most of it. Let's let them know that we don't want winter to stay. Okay, three players left, and I haven't even gotten to brutal bastion yet. They're freezing, they're all freezing. They're dying from like... Hypothermia. And I'll take the pistol just to fill up a slot. Okay, 1v2, time to move. And somebody's just gliding around, they're just looking for us. Me and whoever else is not gliding. But you won't find me, because I ain't staying out in the open. And I ain't staying in the storm. Ooh, okay, right next to me. Oh, there you go. Let's go up. Oh, too late. Oh, man, help out. Uh, I don't know what kind of fight this is going to be. It's a sign. I gotta take a bush. Okay. I know you zip lined up over there, so I gotta run when the storm closes over there. And now's the time. Woo. Yeah, let's go. And up here. Parkour course here. Oop. That circle's getting teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Oh, glad that worked out. This labyrinth. Oh, more shockwaves. Okay. You know what? The circle's so small. I may shockwave him into the storm. Ow. Okay, I had to get out there. I think he's around here somewhere close. Oh, there we go. Okay, bush. And shockwave. Come on. Bye-bye. Make sure you're out there in the storm. Okay, let me go. Oh, oh I didn't get ahead of the shockwave. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! 
until you dive in the storm. The shockwave works. And summer's here to stay. Hope you will too, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. You got more on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.